It's gaming time! Kind of the same as Invoker gives you a spirit vessel and an instant tiny. Versus the 17 and 3. And Amara, he was sending out that courier, ends up getting taken away, and Taiga actually getting a little bit body blocked there by the creeps. Means they can't go in, and instead they're gonna go on to Taiga a second round, and Rachio gets first blood, and Yuragi might be next as they run him down bit by bit, but with the mischance, it's gonna be enough to get him. So, again, six and a half minutes, only one kill so far as, well, maybe there's gonna be another one here. Seb trying to run away, Yuragi is there. Boundless Strike to slow him down. A couple more punches is all they need, and barely getting away from that one. Seb able to survive, and BZM makes the rotation, and not quite sure if he's gonna be able to get in and onto the rest of Gaming Gladiator says, up top, they got level six on Amar, and this is what they've been waiting for. Pull him back in, Whirling Death brings him down. And down bottom, maybe more action. The toss away tries to get him out. BCM keeping Rocky alive for the moment, but it's just going to be for a later death as they take him down too. And Gaming Gladiators starting two to one here as they will go for a stun. Ace making the rotation bottom and maybe going to find a kill. Oh, the shackle. Oh, looking nice. for the hook stop. stop. Does find it. Oh, wow. Okay. Ellery, cool moves. And up top as well. More action coming out. And Boom is also going to fall. Died. So, oh, gee. You're definitely supposed to lose if you if you let those lanes go as they, as they did in terms of you don't rotate anybody. Oh, Celery. Yeah. Some trouble there. The sleep, though. Tofu keeping it back the tiny. And then the timber stock comes through. Does a world of hurt. And again, on him. Jump, Draghi. Ooh, just gets out of there one, actually. And ECM and Seb, they're almost there. And moving, trying to get him. They find the Monkey King. Draghi's still beating into him in a couple more punches. That's how you get your troll back in the tower, which Amar could have TP'd in potentially and defended. So it, it looks like OG, they understand. They, they want to lose. They're fine with losing that tower. They have grip, don't they? Yeah, they're looking for this one. A lot of TPs coming in as well. And Taiga drops the Doom, actually. A turn for a big fight. Do they have enough for the kill? It looks like the Shackle enough for the finish. Goes for the deny, but does advantage. Unbelievable. So Duraccio will go down there. The nice play coming out. The kill onto the Monkey King. Celery, will that be a freebie? He gets the heal off. No, he's just going to walk away. God, the edge is so annoying to play against. Amar moves in, but can't get there in time to uh, get any extra punish. I feel like teams at this point are afraid to try and kill Celery. Yeah. Just because they've, they've watched so many other teams just be baited by him. Well, speaking of being afraid, Taiga definitely needs to be as they jump forward and kill him off. They're walking right by. They're going to get Tofu, but... I mean, if he dies for the, the Roche kill, this is perfect. So the Avalanche toss play goes in. Tofu's still living nightmare. And then the eventual power shot for the kill. But again, down bottom road. Reached the 20 minute mark. No rush, 20 minutes. About to be broken. We'll see if they run at each other a little bit here as a couple blink daggers got picked up as well. Oh, who? Moves on in. Oh, oh, the angle. Zeb did it to him there. And can they clean up a couple more of these kills? Taracho's in pretty deep, but who's Amar? The Lotus Orb keeping him fine. Avalanche run through. They got boom. Catches on to two with the hoof stomp afterwards. The Fombo is there. And Taracho pops the BKB trying to turn this for his team a little bit. And it is going to be too quickly dead on OG with the buyback coming from Tofu. So a little bit of an overextension after the solid initiation. Couldn't get the ulti off in time as we're back in the real game again. Taracho turns on to Amar. Avalanche calls. Caught with the sleep switch back the other direction. Tofu not able to help his team as much. Another shackle coming out from Seb. The Gale Force actually pushes him just out of range, but eventually get the Aegis. What more is left in the tank? Ace turning, punching BZM, but Duraccio in trouble. Another combo comes out. And OG, they strike back. And they find more celery. Very strong on the edge, but not nearly strong enough from all the damage coming out. Another kill. Chris, you're always just waiting for it to last, you know, 30 seconds, then all of a sudden it's not worth it. But if it is an insta kill like that. Ooh, the oh, the Got oh, him boy. caught. Had the vision. They were prepped and ready. And Duraccio going to get punished here as they roll him through. Go for the finish. The Tinker Wards, they're paying off. He would. Yeah, just, just a bait. We saw the exact same thing happening in the last series. A lot of these teams, like. Oh. Turn, toss, back, ace, in trouble, Shackle doesn't latch, gets the ulti off, backs away, trying to kill BZM, still so much damage being dealt by the Timber, and OG, they're just running away with it now, Tofu's got to get the heck out of here, tries to TP out, will he be able to escape, oh no, 
not for this one. And right now, Gaming Gladiators, they gotta buy more time. Because it feels like it's completely gone the other direction. And again, they find him. They baited out the BKB before to kill him now with the Doom, giving him the high fives. High fives over the top of each other. Now they do ping out the Roche Pit, and the scan goes green right as they were heading out towards it. Who they Shelly's find? Amar, out. right at the start. Yuragi's there as well. Can they kill him off? He's already got the Lotus Orb. No Fiend's Grip available for them. The pullback tries to take down Taiga. This would be a nice kill to start it, and they will get him. Duraccio up on the high ground. What else are they looking for? Oh, the big avalanche after the shackle. Do they have enough damage to bring down the monkey? They do! And just like that, they turn it again. Nothing is free in this game for Game and Gladiators. Team smoked up, heading into the dire triangle. They see Ace. Yeah, and this guy's in a lot of trouble there. Shackle almost oh, able to catch, predicted. but then the avalanche. Goes gonna go for the BKB TP out, and oh, they just bring down the Doom. No messing around. After those first couple of minutes. Oh, they've caught Boom. They got him again? Oh, the Coddle in trouble. The Gale Force, where are you going, old man? Mar gets him, and they clean up another in themselves. And Gaming Gliders, they gotta come up with an answer here, but they're just beating away at these buildings. The crowd will cheer them on, trying to end this game. 45 seconds, no coddle, the kill force. Oh, Not the even shackle. the fountain is safe as they get the shackle onto both. Mar trying to take down the Wraith pack. They turn now, Celery lived through a lot of it, but Duraccio, will his ulti be enough to keep him alive? I'm not so sure. They turn, they bring him down. Another kill coming out as they find the finish, and well, the grip, it's not gonna be enough to keep him alive. One by one by one, they fall, and OG to take game number one. That's GG. Okay, well, that was uh, quite the game. What a shellacking. <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious if... Okay, answer me. Wow, they actually go for that. I was thinking Very about Amp, but I was like, there's no... Yeah. Celery just cannot stop killing couriers. I feel like that's the only reason that he plays Dota. He just loves killing animals. Which is funny, considering that he's a vegan. <laughs> Absolutely, and Seb now gets brought down. The Mud Golems, they're gonna spawn and they go to the Hurl. It's feeling like an impossible lane for Yuragi. Meanwhile... Up on the top side, Mar manages to get the link off. Duraccio blinked already, he's dead. Yeah, and just gonna get killed. That is not the way it's supposed to go in Amar. On another hero of his that gets taken the first phase, he's just owning. It's a double kill. He's gonna be able to find it. Keeps chasing for more, why not? Oh, this wow. doesn't get better, and your Rocky down bottom will get punished. 20 and eight right now versus the 13 and five. And Duraccio going to need to play a little bit of catch up here. Maybe they can make something happen on the Taiga. They got the Ink Swell. A couple more punches are going to come through now, trying to finish him off. But no, instead, going to get caught there in the Cogs. Does not have Blink again. Duraccio dead, and it might be another. Topo's got to get the Ink Swell combo, but the problem is the Blink is such a long cooldown that Amari's just got all this physical damage coming out. Draghi gonna get clapped, gonna get chased. Ace trying to pick up a little bit of the pieces here, and they do manage to kill him off. Sane again, like, Mars is here, he's got a catapult. This is a ton of damage onto that tower, and Celery will try and escape a couple more punches, has the hoof stomp, keep him back. And Nacho in the meantime, also forced to run away. So they're even denying him the jungle, kind of, on the Wraith King. Doing everything they can to shut him down as BZM, finds Celery, taunt, pull back in, gets the finish. Uh, he's just gonna free farm there because either side lane he's gonna die in, just like Tofu might be dying right now. That's right, Taiga on the job, finds him, has the Ink Swell to try and escape. Stun comes out at the last second, Amar trying to run him down afterwards, and just barely on the edge. So he's gonna free farm up in this top area. It's really dangerous, thinking about what this means for the rest of the game going forward. Ace now will find Seb. And goes for the pushback, has the spear. Is it enough damage though? Shackle trying to live. Oh, just barely gets brought down. Boom. The enemy team, and in terms of his team, Boom is actually sitting there kind of debating him a little bit, protecting him. BZM gets another taunt, looking for the dissimulate out, but couldn't take off the silence first. Now Taiga diving behind the tower. They are going all in on Tofu and Boom. Gonna be there to clean up the pieces afterwards. So a little bit of an over- He's doing better than Mr. Wraith King is. Again, Taiga moves on in, being hounded by this, uh, oh, maybe the Hurricane to push him away afterwards? Celery trying to escape, not gonna happen. No way out of that one. Nicely played by Taiga. The, the advantage, though, that uh, that OG gets from this is that, like, can they kill him? I think they can. They're trying to. Celery's there. 
And yeah. then power shot. He's not level six yet. Nice little farming, but because Duraccio's here. Oh. In towards the bounty rune spot, and they do get the kill on the Tigus. So another trade. Ace gets a little bit of separation there with the spear, trying to get his team out of there. They have the arena down, hiding away. Does have a TP to escape and oh. through. Ah, it's okay. enough. Amar could have been able to find punishments, but there's been counter kills that have come out and now trying this to base nice. Celery. Can they find him? Yes, Taiga pushed back in, gets the silence, no battery assault, no cogs for now, and they won't come at all. Uh, however, it's only Taiga that dies, so it's really not that big of a deal for OG either. Celery gets jumped, tries to get himself out there with the little hurricane, and won't be enough. Amar. For the catapult, and uh, he's also got the armlet to line up with the Amar timing uh, with the BKB. Rocky takes some damage there. Amar toggles it all away. Taiga opens up. There's the hook shot. The link immediately cogs pushback. Beautifully executed, and Ace didn't get a chance to play Dota. With, uh, you know, OG saying, fine, we'll just go Roche. Oh, what? Hookshot onto the creep. A little bit of a misplay there. That might not be the initiation that they want. Double toss back. Catches onto both. And just like that, BZM is dead. Almar does have the full link now onto Ace. Tries to TP out, but he won't be able to escape. Tofu backing away with Celery in tow. The stun is there. Toss nice pop. back. Trying to keep him alive, but it might end up with Boom being dead. Inkswell, will it be enough? There's still so much damage there on that Razor. Jump board. Duraccio taking the gate for his oh, He barely gets away so from that. Amar's going for it. And the power shot. Oh they hit him. Got Amar. He what? Him down. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Avatos round two. They go in for one. They'll kill Seb. Stun on the Wraith King on his way out of there. Tofu TP's away. Just absolute chaos mid as they won't be able to run down this tiny. Because you, you just feel like Amar's never going to die. And then Wraith King has a respawn. So he's never going to die. And if he does, he respawns. Ace. Spear breaks the link. They're still on him, though. He doesn't Cogs think he can down. TP. Yeah, he's, he's in trouble. Tries to back out of there, but there is nowhere left to go. Ace does a little jukey juke, but eventually gets brought down. On Where OG overextends. You can show up with the Amity. Does actually do damage right now. Well, this is a good way to start it. Toss back all the way to the Tier 3 tower, and if they can get this first life out here, this is huge. Duraccio is there. Taiga trying to play Interrupt the Gale Force. Silence there onto two. The BKB already out, but he doesn't have the arena. Boom, trying to get away. Amar just draining. Ace, all his damage. He's in trouble behind the Tier 4 towers. Trying to give him a high five in the well, dang near. They just can't get away from this man. Amar too strong at this point, but the buyback. They want to punish this. They want to find a pick off there. Man avoid not nearly enough damage. Amar just walks away. The arena down. Round two, but the stun is out. He doesn't have an answer. There's no BKB left. They find him for the kill. Amar finally goes down. Duraccio oh, gets that ton of gold and manages to escape power. Yeah, he's going for trying it. Trying to escape, get out of there, but it's not going to happen. BZM, the hunter, brings down the anti mage. I mean, that was in it. But the rest of the team shows up. And they find the Enchantress yet again. Silence now onto Duraccio. Has to blink He's away. Can they free. find him? Hiding off to the side and gets taunted, pulled in. They find the angle. They find the man. Duraccio. Well, boom. Has to back out. Takes about half his HP in just one round of initiation. The tier three tower is being hit, but not quite Ooh, enough. Nice spear back. Maybe an opportunity here. And Avatar's dead. Okay, okay. Maybe OG. And that is Roche up now. I mean, do they dare walk in there? I still feel Duraccio. Find Tamar, forces out the BKB, goes for the TP out, and now there's definitely an opportunity. Seb goes for the Guild Force, not gonna matter. Chase down all these heroes trying to take down the Wind Ranger, and another pickup. They decide They're to going fight in. afterwards. OG have lost their mind, and I don't know if this is gonna end up working for them. Yuragi draining all of his mana. They just decided to give away a couple kills. Amar walks back in, tries to take down Boom. He has no Silence BKB. for the moment, and yeah, no BKB, nowhere left to go. In absolute no man's land, but maybe a chance here. Yuragi pops his own BKB. BTM is back in with the buyback, and it was looking bad for a moment, but suddenly they get a couple of return kills. Duraccio's down, and OG managed to turn that fight into a solid play for them. Ace hoping to escape. Does he have anywhere out of here? Spider legs trying to run out of there, but no TP. He's going to have to blink. I don't he's know where he's no going. no TP from the earlier TP that we saw, <laughs> much earlier.
I mean, I, I feel like Amar chases this endlessly. Yeah, this is as much space created. Ace is still smiling. He knows he's dead. Oh. Another spear trying to get out of the run. Get away, little Ace. He's oh, coming for rocket. you. Amar is bringing his elf. Oh, And the plasma field. <laughs> the By BZM. So OG, they take the fight. They make sure they don't give up Roshan. Now they're looking for more. Hook shot in, finds themselves one. Tofu tries to force staff, but there is nowhere left to go. The scale four is way too strong. All of your heroes, it might be worth it to wait for Tofu. Maybe they start and then Tofu comes back just as the fight starts. I mean, the fight is looking like it's already over. Now trying to get a toss back even further, but Celery, he didn't stay close enough to the fountain. They need him in the fountain and they're not outside of it. Chase in, Amar's peeing a wall in between them. Celery dropping down, is going to die. The silence there on a Duraccio, but they run in, try and clean up one. BZM dies, but it's only one time. And round two, Yuragi walks in, takes down another three. And at this point, Tiger will fall, but it's the only kill that they've gotten. And OG are really absolutely killing it in Wait this a minute. game two. Yuragi, he heard the blink animation or something. Oh, and Duraccio tries to get out. Oh, the Gale Force, where are you going, mister? They got him there. The Shackle's going to come out and the kill onto the anti I I think you have to let Megas go. I think you really do. Walk in, silence there, boom, trying to stop this incredible spree forward and another Gale Force catches onto the side, Tofu's dead, no buyback, AM dead, no buyback as they run in one by one by one, OG looking to close this game out here in a clean 2-0 as there is no answer, buyback another time, Gaming Gliders, they're going to stay into the bitter end, but that end is coming as Celery will fall one last round. Amar's in the fountain. They five into there, why not? GG is going to be called an OG. We're going to the final day. What a game. I mean, this team has just looked better and better as the tournament has